Fox 45's Molly Reed looked into where the city's checks and balances system could have missed this all happening. Molly. Yeah, Megan, that company, the John Jurgensen Company, reached back out to us today saying that that bid that they were supposed to be awarded tonight was taken off of the commissioner's agenda. Now, I reached out to city officials today to ask them what is their contracting process and how could anything slip through as these indictments kind of showed that some corruption could have happened. They did not answer, but I did find an expert who could weigh in to show how something like this could have happened. Wright State Applied Policy Research Director Mike Weehy says if federal allegations are true, a lot slipped through over the last few years in Dayton's contracting system. The system is actually designed to ensure there are numerous people looking over the different items that are coming in to ensure that nothing uh, improper happens. We, he says usually municipalities put contracts out for any company who meets the project's criteria to bid on or sometimes look for specific groups to bid like minority or veteran owned companies. Then those bids go to the community's procurement office. They would initially look at those bids to see one, uh, technically do they have the ability to meet the specifications that were written into the contract and then they'll be looking at price. But federal prosecutors allege Joey Williams awarded contracts to companies in exchange for work on his home, specifically this patio. They say Clayton Lucky tried to get construction contracts through the city for a company that didn't even have equipment, and Roshan Winburn is accused of influencing who the city awarded contracts for work. The city says during a news conference yesterday that their internal audits are designed to find and prevent corruption. And try to assure through many different um, checks and balances that that process's integrity is maintained. It seems like in this particular instance there was something that either fell through the cracks or someone used influence that they had to ensure uh, a certain outcome was reached. We, he says the company usually has to have proof of certifications and several people in the city's office should run background checks, make reference calls, check the company standing with the state, all making sure what's on paper is factually true. And putting that bid package together that they then provide forward going, yes, we've checked the boxes here, numerous people have, it all meets this criteria. I'm told the city has hired green and green attorneys to go over all the past bids and review its process. That's something we, he says, is a very good idea. Now, today, I also put in two Freedom of Information Act requests to the city. One is for Rashawn Burns personnel file. I also asked them for a list and background on any city employees who may have been arrested in the past 10 years. I still have not heard back. In Dayton, Molly Reed, Fox 45 News.